The show rolls on to the Supreme Court. Auburn Glandor hosting Bluffton and a packed house. Start of the game, Hunter Steck Schulte passing outside to Caden Erford. To Cullen White, to Theo Mag, OG on the board. Then, how about Erford? Back to Mag. And then Mag, turn around. Floater is up and good. It's 4 0. Now, later in the first quarter, OG up 13 0. Luke Genter pass court to Wade Genter. Three ball is good. And the Pirates crack the goose egg in the score column 13 3. Now, Titan basketball. Steck Schulte to Erford to the assist to White. Jump shot around the elbow is up and good. Titans now on the fast break, leading by 12. Levi Unterbrink, poop and the harm, making it a three-point play the old-fashioned way. OG taking care of business tonight, 63 to 33 over Bluffton. We'll have this one for you on the sports or after the sports report tonight on WTLW. Afterward, Evan Skilleter caught up with OG head coach Tyson McLaughlin. Opening night after a really good year, a year before, what were you looking for coming into tonight, and how do you think your team performed? I just was wanting to see how we'd handle our emotions. You know, opening night at home, uh, some high expectations, and, you know, I thought our guys did a good job of, can, you know, maintaining those, you know, emotions and coming out there, setting the tone early in that first three minutes. And, uh, you know, you got, we got some guys with some experience. We've got some guys that are, you know, new to this. So, you know, was, how are they going to react to it? And I was, I was very proud of the effort. Excellent. So coming into the year, a lot of talk about Colin White, right? However, Mark and I on the broadcast talked a lot about Theo Mag tonight and how well he played and how well he's developed. We've gotten to see him for a few years now. Can you talk about both of those guys and just the, what they bring to this team? Well, obviously versatility and length. Both of those guys are, you know, 6'6 six, six or bigger with, you know, wingspans that are not, not typical at the high school level. So uh, I think that's the first thing that you notice. But um, th their ability to impact the game in different ways. You know, Theo, uh, whether it's all offensive glass, defensive glass, blocking shots, altering shots, you know, he just does a lot of different things for us. And over the last year, the last six months especially, his game's really taken himself to the next level. And, uh, you know, Colin's just a gym rat. He works his butt off. You get, you know, a lot of, lot of recognition and rightfully so. But, you know, you, you just saw that first quarter. You know, he led us by setting people up, you know, three or four different times, you know, no look pass, get guys open. And, you know, that's what your leaders have to do. They step up in big time and, you know, I was proud of the way they set the tone tonight. 